We are living in uncertain times right now. This virus pandemic has a lot of us in quarantine. And as a result, many of us have lost our jobs. Businesses have shut down. There's a lot of you guys out there that are figuring out how to get a source of income to stay afloat. Many of you have anxiety, depression. Some of you guys are battling this virus. I'm going to tell you how to keep your head high, how to stay strong, and weather this storm. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. First off, I want to tell you guys how I'm able to weather the storm here, at least financially, is that I've been living a debt free lifestyle since 2006. I preached it in many videos uh, to buy a home, you know, without in cash and full pay cash for your cars, live 100% debt free. Um, and a lot of my advice fell on deaf ears um, because a lot of you guys are living in the moment and you wanna you know, buy stuff now and pay later and now you're paying the price. Um, you know, I'm not gonna come down on you because you can't go back in the past and make the changes, but going forward, when you get that job back and you get that source of income, make sure that you pay off your cars, work on paying off your mortgage on your house, and be prepared for the next storm. Because there's gonna be another storm. Like I said, with life, there's always gonna be challenges. Right now, this, this is history we're living in right now. I mean, this has never happened in my lifetime, my mom's lifetime. And I tell you, I know it's really tough for a lot of you out there. And I'm going to tell you guys that mental strength is going to pull you through this. You gotta stay positive and strong no matter what. Um, you know, like when I was stuck out in the mud, you know, I stupidly went out in that field and got stuck. And uh, the tow company guys, they got stuck out there. They pulled themselves out and left me out there stranded. And uh, 20 degree weather, I had to walk home 10 miles at night because None of the businesses were open because of this pandemic. They closed a lot of the stores down. Um, I, my cell phone died, so I had no way of getting a ride home. I had, like I said, 20 degree weather. I walked home with slippers on and a hoodie uh, through the woods at night in 20 degree weather, man. And I barely made it home, frostbitten fingers. I had cramps in my feet. I had these shoes on actually, these are like slipper shoes. These are not meant for 10 mile walks and my feet are still sore. <laughs> but you know what got me through that? Uh, staying strong and, be, and, and, and uh, having the will and determination um, to be able to make it home. And at the end, I almost had to crawl home. It was really tough. Um, but just like with, with this situation that's going on right now, you can stay strong, have that will and determination, keep it positive, understand that when the economy picks back up, when this pandemic ends, the economy picks back up, you're probably gonna get an even better job. So stay focused on that, um, find a way to make it through this and you're gonna be better for it. But like I said, going forward, you're gonna need to work on living a debt-free lifestyle and be prepared and I'll tell you guys, that building a bug out motor van like I did with this van. The reason why I built this van guys, um, which cost me about $10,000, including the van plus the build, $10,000. And you could build it for even a lot less because this is a bit of easy and cheap build. I did uh, build videos on this. I'll include the video playlist in the description and comment section of this video, along with the review on this van. This van actually accommodates a motorcycle where the passenger seat is and allows me to live in this van off grid. It has solar panels up here, 500 watts of solar panels. I've got three uh, 150 amp hour batteries here. I've got a TV, I've got cabinet, I've got, uh, uh, I have faucet here. Like I said, if you wanna see the full review I did on this van, I have the link in the description and comment section of this video. But what's awesome about having a setup like this is that if times get rough like this 
and you you can't afford the house anymore you you're getting ready to file bankruptcy and you need to just you find a way to live very cheaply guys this is your last resort option and also it's pretty fun to have this to go take it out on trips as well you know bug out camping trips or whatnot but you can go head down south live in warmer weather live on government land out west and live very cheaply you don't have any utility bills you don't have any rent payments um, you can like i said your motorcycle's in there with you if your van breaks down or whatnot you can always take your motorcycle out and go and, and, and get help or whatever i think it's absolutely awesome to have one of these and i think everybody should have one My update on me um, I'm not going to be moving anytime soon. Everything's on ice. Um, as far as buying another motorcycle, that's on ice as well. Um, just because I, I believe the dealerships are probably closed because a lot of businesses are closed. So I doubt if any motorcycle dealerships are open, but that's the last thing on my mind. Right now, it's just about uh, surviving this and, and making it through this storm. Definitely need to listen to the advice that they're telling you in the news. Uh, keep your distance away. Stay in quarantine, guys, so we'll, we, can, uh, we can beat this virus and, and we can get back to our normal lives again. And you guys can get your jobs back. So I want you to stay strong. But I highly recommend you guys, for those of you that do have a motorcycle, this is an excellent time to get out there and ride your motorcycle, guys. Especially because you get cooped up in the house. Um, you can get kind of down. And I'll tell you, the best cure for the blues is your motorcycle. And this is a good time because there's a lot less traffic out there on the roads because people don't have any, a lot of people don't have any jobs and they're in quarantine. So be careful though, uh, you know, definitely wear your gear, guys. I highly recommend you get an airbag vest. I do have a link to this airbag vest in the description and comment section of this video along with my other gear. Wear your full gear, guys, because God forbid you go down, um, this will help keep you safe and keep you from, from major damage because you don't want to have to go to the hospital now because a lot of the hospitals are at full capacity. Be very cautious, ride carefully, just cruise out there. You don't have to be riding crazy out there. You know, you don't just enjoy yourself, help beat the blues. I want to tell all you guys out there, stay strong and stay positive help others out there if you can financially and uh leave a comment below and tell me how your situation is right now maybe we can come together as a community and help each other out um, i appreciate all you guys don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel till next time deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.